It's only been a few years since Xiaomi, a seemingly unknown entrant to the smartphone market, took our attention by providing flagship specifications, packed in mid-range prices. Enter the Chinese giant's latest endeavor, laptops. Are they here to do it again? Mabuhay Manila, this is Drew for ManilaShaker.com and join us in reviewing the brand spanking new Xiaomi Mi Notebook Air. Let's address the elephant in the room. Without the logo, you can easily mistake the Notebook Air as a MacBook or a Chromebook, which shows Xiaomi is looking to take a chunk of this market share. From the get-go, the exterior is constructed from a unibody aluminum build held together by sturdy hinges. The absence of a Xiaomi or Mi logo is welcoming, to say the least. The left panel houses the 3.5mm audio jack with Dolby Audio support, HDMI port, and USB 3.0. The opposite end is where you can find another USB 3.0 and a USB-C that doubles as a charging port. Underneath is where you can find the exhaust port and rear bottom firing AKG speakers. This 12-inch Mi Notebook Air, which has a 13-inch bigger brother, is thinner than the 13-inch MacBook Pro by a hairline and is noticeably lighter. Overall build is solid with no flexes on the chassis and screen. The hinges and tension feels solid and you can easily lift the lid with one hand with some vibration when moving the screen. One thing to note that the lid opens farther than the body, adding a small angle to the keyboard for ergonomics while giving the Notebook Air some, well, air to breathe as well as space for the rear button firing speakers to bounce off of. Upon hitting the power button, we are greeted by a beautiful 12.5-inch 1080p LCD that provided good 170-degree viewing angles at 300 nits. Color gamut is at 50% capacity. Overall, the screen is bright and clear. Good color reproduction and nice viewing angles, which struggles when being viewed outdoors. It's a 1 megapixel full HD front facing camera located above the screen, flanked by two microphones. The keyboard is backlit, which is a nice touch with spacious key placements that anyone can get used to. Typing fared average with some lack of responsiveness and clickiness but is reliable and lappable for all kinds of typing needs. It feels like the trackpad is glass plated but we have yet to confirm with Xiaomi. It's responsive for scrolling and clicking but not as smooth as we had liked or have been used to at higher end models. The 12 inch Mi Notebook Air runs Intel Dual Core M3 4 thread processor paired with Intel HD 515 graphics, where performance is comparable to some areas a 4th gen Intel Core i5 of last year with more efficiency. We tried playing Dota 2 and had fair performance in low graphics settings without stuttering. Suffice to say, this is no gaming laptop nor has it the guts to perform under high intensity tasks. The 128GB SATA at 500MB per second has enough capabilities for any and almost all office or study tasks, whether traveling or at home. This Notebook Air does warm up during and after demanding needs, but not too hot to the touch or the lap. Powering the 12-inch Notebook Air is a 37Wh battery cell rated to last you 11.5 hours on average usage that includes browsing, typing, and video playback. What surprised us the most was that charging the Mi Notebook Air took less than 50 minutes from 0 to 100%. The dual AKG speakers at the bottom sounded clear and averagely loud with lack of bass and some crisp on some notes. Retailing at 29,990 pesos, available now at online stores in the Philippines, the Xiaomi 12.5-inch Mi Notebook Air is a convincing deal for consumers looking to upgrade to Ultrabook status without breaking the bank. It's light, slick, and capable of getting work done. The battery endurance is a great plus for mobile warriors. But if you're looking for something more graphic-intensive capable, perhaps hold off until you hear about the shiny new 13.3-inch Mi Notebook Air. Let us know what you think of the 12.5-inch Xiaomi Mi Notebook Air at the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to get the latest in tech from manilashaker.com. Once again, this has been Drew. Mabuhay, Manila!